to Debbie. I've asked him to help you look after the house until we're back from holiday. Love, Mum and Dad. So what now? We wait till little sister arrives. I can't wait to rub her nose in it when I show her this. Do you have to? No, I don't. I can't help it if she's thick. You're always running her down. Oh, come on, she works in a shop for goodness sake. She's really proud, but at least she has a job. What kind of job is that? She's a star market. I won't start if she doesn't start. Talking of my sis, here she is. Got to say a car here. Run out of bread. Very funny. Why are you here? No way. Ain't happening. It's mum and dad's wishes. I don't care. I'm not having you here. I'm not going to be staying here. I'm just going to be home, make sure everything's clean and tidy for when Mum and Dad come back. Oh, so you're saying that I can't keep it tidy? You said it, not me. You really are a bitch. Look at this. Who'd you bribe for that then? You're just jealous. Always with the same pathetic remarks. Just because I'm cleverer than you. You? Clever? Just lucky with a big head. At least I don't work for a minimum wage in some supermarket. Sitting behind the till, stacking shelves. At least I meet people. At least I have friends. Who wants to be a snob like you? Bet your work colleagues hate you. Actually, they're very happy for me. And I'm not a snob, and I'm not posh, and at least I have a car, unlike you. See what I mean? Big head! For fuck's sake, you like chore women! I'll help her if she's jealous of me. Ha! Jealous of you! In your dreams! Tell that to your faces. Remember, I'm Dad's favourite. You bitch! Don't do this. Don't stoop to her level. You're too smart for this. But she tore up my certificate! You don't need a piece of paper to tell you how good you are at what you do. You're right. They know how good I am, and so do I. At least I'm not jealous. More like a kiss ass. Whose dick did you suck to get that piece of paper? Hey? But you grabbed the boss's sweaty balls, didn't you? Stop! Do you know what? The hell with you all. Your friend. What are we supposed to do with this? I'll see you later. And cook your own dinner!
I bet you're wondering what's happening. Good question. I can understand a word you're saying. Is this a joke? Some kind of daft game? What isn't funny? I'm just too untimey. I'm just really hurt. Come on, I'm bloody starving as well. Come on. What are you doing? Language, Kim. You know, Daddy wouldn't like it. Untimey now, and I'll forget all about this craziness. Kimmy, Kim, Kim. You know. I can't do that. Why not? Because then I ruin all the fun we're having. What did you just say? Like knives slicing that precious skin of yours. Fist punching you black and blue. But I'm looking forward to that part the most. But I haven't done anything to you. You're joking, right? Daddy's favourite girl. The one who can do no wrong. Ugh! You completely lost your mind. Actually, I always wanted to do that. So what now, Daddy's girl? I know you're not jealous. It's just some people have it, some people don't. I didn't know you took it so hard. How dare you look down on me even now? I'm not, I swear. You're doing it again. You're patronising me. Please let me go. I won't tell Dad, I promise. Yes, you will. You're his pride, his joy, his number one. Just let me go, I swear. I swear I won't tell anyone. I won't say a word, I promise. You won't get away with this. Malcolm will be looking for me. He'll be back from his friends soon. Correct. As always, Malcolm will be home very, very, very soon. Malcolm! Come and see your girlfriend. Or should I say, former girlfriend. Malcolm. Okay. Don't tell me you're part of all this craziness. Okay, it's true. But why? We were happy together. You ask me why? You, of all people, have the nerve to ask me what's wrong. I loved you once. I know 
block changed. You got that job and all you do is talk about yourself and how you want to be manager one day. Why, do, why didn't you say anything? Sometimes you don't even look at me. And the sex, Christmases and birthdays, if you don't have a headache. Why didn't you say anything? You were always running her down with your shit. Didn't even notice me. She noticed me. And I definitely noticed her. No way. That can't be true. He's great in bed. We had him caged like an animal. But I set him free. And Kimmy, he fits perfectly inside of me. You're just doing this to wind me up? I'm too, I'm too clever to fall for that crap. You're gonna have to do better than that. So you're gonna punish me? Go on, do your worst. <laughs> oh. I intend to. This will hurt you a lot more than it will hurt me. You won't do it. Not your sister. You scared me now. Well done. Come on. Enough's enough. Not feeling so clever now, are you, sister? One point to me. Now the other arm. <laughs> So bad. Hardly felt a thing. Where to next? Maybe she's been punished enough. She's bleeding. Surely that's enough. You don't want to kill her, do you? Now that's a thought. Don't be stupid, Debs. You don't want to murder her. It's not worth it. You don't know what it's been like all these years. They're boasting about how good she is at everything. She never cared about me. She still doesn't. I was one big joke and I still am. She would prefer it if I wasn't even born. Well, who's laughing now? I know you've been hurt. But you punished her for that. Makes you even. If you can't stomach it, you know where the door is. I'm not leaving like this. Fine. Then let me get on with it. Which leg shall we try first? The left or the right? Don't 
people asleep on me now. There's more to come. I could inflict all kinds of hell on you. Make you feel the pain that I felt. I haven't forgotten all those scars you gave me years ago. I still have them. I can prove it. You see what you did to me? Look! You see what you did to me? See? To all your wise cracks and pathetic attempts at being the best at everything. Well now, now I'm in charge. Me. And I'm gonna give you one last reminder before I let you go. Don't even think about telling anyone about this. This will be long gone. And I will find you, and I will finish what we've started. 